good morning students today we are going to start the standard 11th mathematics chapter 1 sets this chapter is very important chapter for the relation and function next chapter and it is also very important in the other studies of the branches of mathematics let us see the concept of the sets some of the portion of this sets you must have studied in the lower standard in this chapter we are going in detail of this chapter let us revise whatever you studied in the lower standard sets you as you know that set is an undefined term we cannot give the proper definition of the set it is an undefined term but we can give the meaning of the set meaning of the set is the collection of well defined objects collection of well defined objects now let us understand what do you mean by the well defined objects for example when you talk about the collection of rivers of india so when we say that collection of rivers of india then only the rivers will be there no other mountains or any other things collection of flowers collection of flowers means only flowers no vegetables nothing else collection of students or we say that a group of students the collection of students when we list out the names of the students no teachers no peons no other candidates will be allowed in the collection of the students that is known as the well defined objects the collection of well defined objects is considered as a set set is denoted by the capital letters a b c d e f x y z capital letters and the notation to use to denote the set is the pair of braces all the elements to be written in the pair of braces elements are separated by comma and in this set no other bracket is also allowed set means only we have to use the pair of braces elements are separated by the comma now in this set when you list out the elements of the set let us see that when we say that so for example set a is equals to set a is equals to 1 2 3 4 then the elements are separated by the comma first point also the order in which the elements are written is immaterial is not very important the same set a also can be written as 4 2 1 3 or in any order first thing secondly the elements once written will not be repeated for example the when we talk about the set of the students if two ramesh are there then we shall write only one ramesh elements are separate but by comma elements once written will not be repeated and the order in which the elements are written is immaterial that is not very important for this so that is known as and it is compulsory to write in the set pair of braces denoted by capital letters a b c d small letters we used to denote we used to write the elements of the set here when you talk about the set a equals to 1 2 3 4 one is the element of the set a when any element is in the set a then we use the one belongs to the set a one belongs to the set a here the elements 1 2 3 4 5 phi is not the element of this set therefore we say that phi does not belongs to the set a phi does not belongs to the set a so belongs to when this notation is used belongs to it means that this side will be the element and this side will be the set if the element is present in the set then belongs to if the element is not present in the set then does not belongs to the set a there are two methods of representation of the set two methods of representation of the set one method roster form or we say that the listing method or list method roster form roster form that is we list out the elements of the set for example this set a is written in this set a equals to in the bracket 1 2 3 4 this is the method of representing the set in the roster form this is the roster form of the set a the same set 
can be also written in the set of set builder form. Another method of representation of the set is the set builder form or we say that the property method. Property method that is the same set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. The, this set builder form can be written as like this. Set A equals to the set X where X is between x is greater than or equals to 1, less than or equals to 4, and x belongs to the set n. x belongs to the set n. x is an element of the set n, and x is between 1 to 4, including 1 and 4. Then this, the same set can be written in the set builder form like this. Now some sets which already used in the lower standard, the set n, let us see, some other sets, set n, set n is the set of the natural numbers, set n is the set of natural numbers, set of natural numbers, in this set n, this, all these sets already you study in the lower standards, we are just recall all these sets, what you have studied, set of natural numbers, this set n is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The set n. It goes to infinite lower list. This was set also known as the set of the positive integers. Lowest or we say that the smallest positive integer is 1 and the greatest integer is unknown. Is not defined. S other set that is the set of integers set of integers that is nothing but set z is equals to all the negative integers minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 like this all this side minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 like this goes to minus infinity here 0 1 2 3 4 all this if you include 0 in this set n then that set is known as the set of whole numbers then the set Q, set Q is equals to the set P by Q where P and Q belongs to Z and Q is not equals to 0, then this set is known as the set of the rational numbers. This means any number, any number which can be represented in the form of P by Q, then that number is known as the rational numbers. All these numbers can be put in the form of P by Q. All these numbers also can be put in the form of P by Q, where Q is not equals to 0. That is here denominator. Denominator should not be equals to 0. If denominator equals to 0, then that number is undefined. We cannot, we, we don't have any value when the denominator is equals to 0. So be careful, denominator should not be equals to 0. So all these numbers can be put in the form of P by Q by writing denominator is a 1. Uh, so this number set N is also considered as the rational number. This is also a rational number. And other than these two, 1 by 3, 3 by 5, 1 by 7, 3 by 7, 5 by 9, 5 by 11, etc. All these numbers are in the form of P by Q. All these numbers are the set of the rational numbers. But there are some numbers which cannot be put in the form of P by Q. For example, square root of 2. Square root of 2, the approximate value of square root of 2 is 1.4, approximately. But that also is not the exact value of square root of 2. Similarly, pi, what we are using to calculate the area of circle or circumference of the circle, we use pi. Pi is also not a rational number. All those numbers which cannot be put in the form of P by Q, those numbers are called the irrational numbers. The set consisting of rational and irrational, set consisting of rational and irrational is known as the set of real numbers, where X is a real number. X is a real number. Set N is a set of Natural numbers or set of positive integers. Set Z is a set of integers where we say that all the negative integers, zero, all positive integers. Set Q is the set of the rational numbers. Here also, 
there are infinite numbers between two, any two rational numbers and therefore it is not possible to list out all the elements of the rational number. And therefore it is compulsory to use this set in the set builder form only. Set R, set R is the X where X is the real numbers. This set is consisting of rational and irrational. Here also between any two real numbers there are infinite real numbers and therefore this set also cannot, cannot be listed, cannot be written in the roster form. So there are, it is not necessary that all the sets must be represented in the set of the rational, uh, in the roster form. It is also sometimes not possible to list out uh, it is not also possible to represent the set in the set of the builder form. So, for example, Q and R cannot be represented in the roster form. The set cons does not contain, if any set is not containing any element in the set, then that set is known as the empty set. That set is known as the empty set. For example, set A, set A is equals to set A x x where x is between 1 and 2 x belongs to n x belongs to n the set x such that x is between 1 and 2 and x is a natural number so can you have any natural number between 1 and 2 no therefore this set is known as the empty set this set is known as the empty set this is denoted by simply the pair of braces or Greek alphabet phi. This is Greek alphabet read as phi meaning is empty set. In the set notation, in this chapter we use this notation to denote the empty set. One more example, suppose I say that set A equals to X where X is a student X is a student studying in studying in 10th and 11th. X, where X is a student studying in 10th and 11th. So it is not possible that the student is studying in 10th and 11th together. Therefore, this set is also empty set. This set is also empty set. So A is equals to null set. Or you can write simply pair of braces, don't write anything in this set. This set, if the set is empty set or in the set there are definite number of the elements in the set, then that set is known as the finite set. That set is known as the finite set. This set is a finite set. Set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. This set is also a finite set. Infinite set, if the set is not finite set, then that set is known as an infinite set. For example, set N, set Z, set Q, set R, all these sets are the infinite set. Because the last number, just last number, how many elements are there, how many elements are there, that is not known to us. And therefore, all these sets are the infinite set. This set is finite set, this set is also finite set. But N, Z, Q, R, all these sets are known as the infinite set. The set, it means that the set which is not finite set is known as an infinite set. Suppose if you consider one more set, that is the set B. Suppose I say that the set B is equals to the set X, where X is between 1 to 4, including 1 and 4, and X is a natural number, X belongs to N. This set, if you write down the elements of this set, then this set also contains 1, 2, 3, 4. This set is also containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. So if this is the set B, set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, set B equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, both these sets are containing exactly the same elements in both. Set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, Set B also 1, 2, 3, 4. Both the sets are containing exactly the same elements in both. And therefore, both these sets are known as the equal sets. Both these sets are known as the equal sets, denoted by A equals to B. A equals to B. 
Suppose you consider the set C. Suppose you consider the set C where 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, for example, then this set C is not equals to B, not equals to A also. So if the sets are not equal sets, then those sets are called the unequal sets. The unequal sets, that is A is not equals to B. Set unequal set, that is A is, sorry, A is not equals to C and B is also not equals to C. B is also not equals to C. Let us see one more example, one more definition of the set. That is the subsets. For the two sets, suppose for example, A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6. All the elements of the set A, all the elements of the set A are the elements of the set B. All the elements of the set A are the elements of the set B, then set A is called the subset of the set B. Set A is called the subset of the set B, written as A is a subset of the set B. A is a subset of the set B. All the elements of the set A are the elements of the set B, it, then the set A is called the subset of the set B. Sometimes A is a subset of B is also can be written as, it means that A belongs to A, if A belongs to A, implies that A belongs to B. For every element of the set A implies that the elements of the set B, then A is a subset of B. It means that if A is a subset of B, then A, if A belongs to A, implies A belongs to B. Mathematically, symbolically, it is written like this also. And A subset B means if A belongs to A, then A must belong to the set B. In this set, B is not the subset of the set A. Here, B is not the subset of the set A. So this is the notation to denote not subset. B is not the subset of the set A because all the elements of the set B are not the elements of the set A. Therefore, B is not the subset of the set A. Remember one more point, belongs to and subset. Some students are committing mistakes in finding out in solving the examples when belongs to is used when belongs to is used it then here whatever is there must be the element and here whatever is there must be the set when you use the notation the subset then whatever is here that is also the set whatever is here that is also the set remember the difference between belongs to and subset once again when belongs to is used then this is here, whatever is here must be the element, whatever is here must be the set. Subset, whatever is here that is a set, whatever is here that is also the set. That is the main difference between belongs to and subset. If A belongs to the set A, implies A belongs to the set B, then A is a subset of the set B. It is not necessary that if A is a subset of B, then B also must be the subset of A. Sometimes in this example only B is not subset of A. If A is a subset of the set A, B. If A is a subset of B and B is a subset of the set A. If A is a subset of the set B and B is a subset of the set A, then we say that A equals to B. Then we say that A equals to B. Conversely also it is true. That is, if A equals to B, that is two sets are equal sets, then A subset B and B subset A. And if A subset B and B subset A, then A also equals to the set B. Now let us see some results of this set. We know that now when we talk about the subsets, null set is a subset of all the sets. Null set means empty set. Empty set is also known as the null set, also known as the void set also known as the void set. If null set is a subset of all the set, that is phi is a subset of the set A. Phi is a subset of the set A. Null set is a subset of all the sets. And all the sets are subset of itself. All the sets are the subset of itself. 
So if A is a subset of the set B, then all the elements of the set A are the elements of the set B. So on this, on this basis, we say that null set is a subset of all the set and A is a subset of the set itself. If A is a subset of B and A is not equals to B, A is a subset of B and A is not equals to B, then A is called the proper subset of the set B. A is called proper subset of the set B. And B is the superset of the set A. B is called the superset of the set A. If the set is containing only one element in the set, if the set containing only one element in the set, suppose for example A, this set containing only one element in the set, therefore set A is called the singleton set, set A is called the singleton set. This is known as the singleton set. Now let us see some examples from the exercise 1.1 and 1.2. We shall see all these examples are very easy to solve and can be done orally also. Let us see. This exercise is given for the purpose whether you understood the concept of the sets or not. Let us see the exercise 1.1. Exercise 1.1. First example, which of the following are the sets? Justify your answers. First one, collection of all the months of a year beginning with the letter J. Beginning with the letter J. Month of a year beginning with the letter J. So January is the name of the month which starts with the letter J. Therefore, January is that. The first example, you can say that, so we can denote this set by A, so January, February is not containing this element because it starts with the letter F, then March, April, May, June. June is also the month which starts with the letter J, July is also the month starting with the letter J, August, September, October, November, December. So no other month starting with the letter J, therefore this is the set A. So this is a set. Answer is yes. So this is the set, first example. Let us see a second example. Collection of 10 most talented writers of India. 10 most talented. Now there are so many writers in India are there. But we cannot judge whether which is, who is more talented. Because according to me, suppose person X is the talented writer, so for the, in the opinion for the other, from the other person, he may not be the, he or she may not be the talented writers. And therefore, this you cannot consider as a set. Third example, a team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world. If the question is like this, a 10 of 11 cricket batsmen, then you can write down who is who, ha, who, uh, who is a cricket batsman but here it is question is best cricket batsman so we cannot consider suppose according to me Sachin Tendulkar is the best cricket batsman so for the other person he may not be the best cricket person best cricket batsman for me suppose I say that the Dhoni is the best cricket player or cricket batsman then for the other opinion from the other person's opinion, he may not be the best and therefore this is also not the set. So collection of 10 most talented writers of India is not a set. Third one, a team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world is not also a set. Fourth example, collection of all boys in, the in your school, in your class. This is a set. Just list out all the boys in your class, so that is a set. Fifth one, the collection of all natural number less than 100. All the natural number less than 100, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 100, so it is also a set. Next one, a collection of novels written by writer Munshi Premchand, 
So, Munshi Premchand, whatever the novels written by them, all the names of names of all the novels will be written in the set. But if the question is the collection of best novel written by the Munshi Premchand, then it is not a set. Next one, collection of all even integers, even integers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 up to infinity, and therefore this is also a set. This set is an infinite set. Next one, collection of questions in this chapter. You can count the number of questions in this chapter and so it is also a set. Collection of most dangerous animals of the world. Most dangerous animals of the world is also not a set. Because for me, some animals may be dangerous. For other persons, that, that person, uh, for other uh, person's opinion, the particular animal may not be the dangerous. Therefore, this is also not a set. Second example, it is given that, second example, it is given that set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is given like this. Insert the appropriate symbols belongs to or does not belong to in the blank spaces. The first example, 5 fill in the blank A. If the element is present in this set, then we use belongs to. And if the element is not present in the set, then we use does not belongs to. So this exercise example, this example, second example you can do of yourself. Third example, write the following sets in the roster form. Let us see third example in the roster form. First example, let us see that A equals to, A equals to X where X is an integer, X belongs to Z, you can write it, and minus 3 less than equals to X less than 7. X is an integer. Integer means the element belongs to the set Z. Minus 3 less than equals to X less than 7. So you have to list out the elements which is between minus 3 including minus 3 and less than 7. The same set can be written in the roster form like this. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Not 7. 7 is not including because here less than equal to sign is not there. Therefore, 7 will not be there. So, this is the set A written in the roster form. Second example, X where X is a natural number less than 6. X is a natural number less than 6. Natural number we know that 1, 2, 3, 5, 5 4, 5, 6 up to infinity. Less than 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only these elements will be there in this set. Third example, set C equals to X is such that X is two digit natural number such, such that the sum of its digit is 8. Sum of its digit is 8. Two digit natural number. Now two digit natural number is there. So natural number we know that. Set C equals to X where X is two digit natural number. Whose sum is such that such that the sum of its digits Now, natural number starts with the digits number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to infinity. Two digit number starts with the 10. So, 10 and other number whose sum is 8 is not possible because if you consider one more digit, then the lowest second, lowest two digit number is 10 and 11. So, the number 10 plus 11 is 21, which is not equals to 8. And then we have taken the smallest two digit number 10 and 11 whose sum is equals to 21 which is not equals to 8. Therefore, this set is null set. This set is null set. This one can write it or you can write this. Any one you can write. Don't write both. Any one you can write it. So, in this way you can list out the elements. You can solve the examples. The example of 3. Write the following sets in the roster form. All the same type of the example is given to you. Fourth example, let us see some examples. 
For example, write the following sets in the set builder form. First example, 3, 6, 9, 12. Now observe this carefully. The numbers are 3, 6, 9, 12. These are the multiples of 3. These are the multiples of 3. The same set can be written like this. X where 3x. 3x are the elements. 3x are the elements. So you can write 3x is an element where x is between. X is less than. X is less than 4 equals to 4. And x belongs to n. X belongs to n. This also can be written like this. 3x where x is less than or equals to 4, x belongs to n. Remember, this line means the such that whatever the left side of this line will be considered as the element, whatever the right side of this line will be considered as the property of the elements. So x is less than or equals to 4, x belongs to n. x belongs to n, so it's gone taking the numbers which is in n, but less than or equals to 4. So first example, the first number is 1, substitute here 1, it becomes 3, 3 into 1 is 3 here, 3 into 2 is 6, 3 into 3 is 9, 3 into 4 is 12 and don't take more than 4, x is less than or equals to 4, x belongs to n. One more example, 2, 4, 8, 16, clear, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Now observe this carefully, the, all these are the multiples of 2 at the same time the powers of 2. So 2, 4 and then 6 is not there, directly 8. Then 10 is not there, then 12 is also not there, 14 is also not there. So it is not only even numbers, it is containing some special property of these elements. So this set can be written as 2 raised to n, 2 raised to n where n is less than or equals to now 2 raised to n substitute n equals to 1 then 2 2 then 4 2 cube is 8 2 raised to 4 is 16 2 raised to 5 is 32 so n is less than or equals to 5 where n is a natural number where n is a natural number